Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have the, um, what do I have? Oh yeah, favorites. I'm sorry, I'm doing so many videos. I'm like, oh yeah, what's in front of me? Um, I'm doing my favorites for July of 2017 and it's mostly wax, but I do have some other favorites as well outside of wax. I will get on, oh, sorry, I will tell you what's on my lips and my nails shortly because of course they're part of my favorites. All right, let's start off with some Lush here. I've been, a, I've loved Lush since the late, mid to late 90s. Uh, pink Peppermint Foot Cream. Really, really love Pink Peppermint Foot Cream. It's a staple for me. Oh no, by the way, I had to switch around. Uh, there's no light over here, which is what I was just turned around. Um, and so anyway, want to be able to show you guys the ocean, trying to be, that's why I'm out here so you guys can share, or I can share with you what I get to see on a daily basis because I'm very, very fortunate. Um, so pink peppermint foot cream. This is lovely. Love it. Love it. Love it for winter or summer staple. And that's a year uh, round product for Lush. This, however, I ordered with a friend of mine named Jen. She is a huge, like she loves Lush kitchen. And anyway, so we went together on an order and got, and this is something, um, Lush kitchen, they bring back a lot of favorites and the, yeah, they bring back a lot of things that they used to have but they've taken away retired and so on so when I saw this it was creamed almond and coconut shower smoothie again this brought me back right to college my college days um I really liked it except the smell of this was not quite as I remembered it it does not very coconutty it, it, in fact it sort of smells gross but it's a shower smoothie and it is what now I've decided I always want to have some sort of whipped soap to shave my legs with so whether it's lush or vendor um, whip soap. There's many vendors from the wax community who do whip soaps as well. So I like this. I do actually have another one because I bought two of, the, of this particular scent and I bought a lime one as well, which I'm working on right now, currently in my shower. All right. So this was a repurchase. The St. Ives Blackhead Clearing Gentle Tea Scrub helps clear blackheads for fresher looking skin. Okay. Love this. It's a mo it says on the back a moderate scrub, like a exfoliation, I guess. This was really, really good. Really enjoyed this. Um, yeah, so I did repurchase it. Love it. All right, uh, what's on my nails? So all my nails, I've got pink on them. This is a staple for me in the summertime. If you have medium to dark skin tone too, this would look amazing on your along your skin tone. This is Essie's Fiji. The formula of this is beautiful. This is a staple. It's in the regular collection. This is one of my favorites in the summer. And then on some of the nails will have glitter on it. It is Essie's, or oh, sorry, Essie, Sally Hansen's Extreme, or Hard Nails Extreme Wear in number 200 strobe light. This is actually the second bottle I've gone through of this. I really like it. And on my lips is Revlon's Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Metallic in the color Glam. I actually really, really like this. Do not like the scent of this, however, but it does go away. At least it doesn't linger on my lips. So there's that. Mary Luminizer. I am wearing it right now, but it's really hard without any light actually on me. Mary Luminizer, the Manizer sisters. I own all three of them. There's a bronzer, a more pink tone one, and then this one here, which is, oh, little goes a long way, but so good. This is what I wear if I go out or something. So Mary Luminizer highlighter by The Balm. So no light here to show you but it's beautiful and i've had this for quite some time i don't travel with this though because i've seen too many youtubers and beauty gurus go oh my god i broke my manizer and whatever in some trip so whatever one of my favorites i brought it out a few times this um, summer even though it's more like a fall winter scent is bourbon by uh, elizabeth and james nirvana bourbon i've gone through about a third of it i'm down to about here oh, i can see that so good except i'm just gonna oh smells so so good sweet but rich and dark mm. um okay found an eyeliner this was a sample size i think it was in a kit that i picked up at sephora it's mark jacobs i guess like blacker yeah blacker i think anyway super teeny tiny um i've been trying to find something that will stay in my inner rim when I do the inside of my eye anyway because I don't wear eyeliner because I have very very minimal um, real estate on my eyelids so I do rim the, the top part of my eye underneath with black liner but what I find with so many black liners is even though it says waterproof it still comes down on my lower lash line this is actually done very very well now 
It is a sample size, as you can see here. <sighs> Dang, that's $30. To buy a full size is $30. I mean, I probably, I don't wear this on a daily basis, so it might be worth it. We'll see how long it stays creamy because it definitely needs to be creamy to, to put it on. So, all right. And okay, in general, I wanted to share with you guys something that you've seen on my channel every once in a while. If you're new, you may not have seen it, but I love these. I have four of them. They're the Clarins um, Instant Light Natural Lip Perfectors. They just give minimal color, but they're like high gloss, smell amazing, like vanilla, yum, yum, yum. Um, I have four of them. This one I generally use in the winter time. This is number eight. They just go by the number. So that's number eight. This is number seven. Make sure I'm showing it to you. Uh, this is my absolute favorite. Um, I'm like probably close to being finished with this. This is number five, number five, and number two. So Clarins, I can find at the makeup counter in the Bay here in Canada, or London Drugs, if you've got a London Drugs that does like more high-end stuff, fantastic, check it out. I love them, I love the smell of them, I just love the whole thing. Okay, now that we're over non-wax, I'm just gonna pull things out of this bin, and there's a lot. I went through a lot, I was sick, uh, for the first bit of July and I was home. I never went anywhere for like almost a week other than the doctor's office. So anyway, so I was home a lot, switched out my wax a lot, found some new favorites. First of all, thank you to Root Candle. Um, wow, if you like laundry scents, now yes, yeah, so I've already, oh, the playlist is, the, check out my playlist. There is one for Root Candle. I have this whole review of this candle. Yes, there's a bit of sitting, I will say that much. Um, and that sitting happened towards the end but the smell of this is amazing. It's still smells like sun-dried cotton. It's, if you like laundry, you will love this. I love the packaging and everything, even though I'm not a huge packaging person. All right, so I'm from Rainbow Melts. It was a sample given to me in a round of acrokinus. Berry Berry Zucchini is described as blueberry, wild berry mousse, and creamy, uh, creamy zucchini. I like this because I think the creamy zucchini in this is the bakery, bakery note like a donut? Oh my God, you guys, I love this. Um, Rainbow Melts does bakery right. Crystal, ugh, bakery is amazing. Um, I'm just getting into, obviously this is my, this will be my first fall with her. I'm really excited. And I, I know the bakery, pumpkin, everything. Okay, this one I still can't describe. It was a spotlight feature. Again, check the playlist out. I think it's a Sensational's Candles. Sunshine Jar. It's just sunny and bright, but not super citrusy. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like not super, it's not lemon or I don't even know. It's hard to describe. I really can't. Sleepy. Okay. Sleepy by The Bathing Garden. Pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. Sasha. Oh, I can't believe she missed out on that. Um, it was the scent of the month for all of June. I, it's <laughs> funny story. I did order the, um, the sleepy a uh, combo pack which I think was a scrub a whip soap a clam and, and a, like a little piece of sleepy wax tart like a shape and I had it sent to my friend and I put the wrong address like it's just off and anyway it didn't go to anyone so it was anyway so getting sent back to the bathing garden they know about that and it'll be sent to my friend again I wish I wish they would just keep the way the style of shipping that they do even though they don't ship to Canada uh, I'm going to miss being able to just go on online to Bathing Garden and order whatever I want whenever I want. Um, but Sleepy is a, an amazing melt. I received this in a random act of kindness from my friend in Florida at Christmas time. She doesn't like pink sugar. This was amazing. It was beautiful when I was sick because that peppermint comes out. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Rainbow melts again. Berry cream, berry creme brulee cookies described as mixed berries, creamy vanilla custard, sweet butter and sugar cookies you guys I already have a video on this as well um, there's like a berry berry delicious video that I did because I did a whole bunch of berries at the same time destination wax Bartlett pear um, now this one was lovely sorry um, but I still felt like I had to melt like a bunch of it I only had two cubes uh, but I do love a, I love pear. I love pear scents. My favorite jelly belly jelly bean is a pear jelly bean. So um, I really like this. I don't know if I'll be ordering from Destin Destination Wax anymore. Um, I'm just not getting the throw that I really want. And that's just me and my own opinion, my own house, and my own thoughts. 
Zapes. Fresh picked strawberries, birthday cake, whipped cream, cotton candy. I received this as a freebie as part of a um, purchase de stash that I did. Um, and it's a beautiful. Um, it's scented out my house, had the windows open, had company outside in the patio. We can smell it from outside on the patio. Awesome. Can I, this will be the third time I talked about this. If you can find this at your local Walmart, apricot rose water from Better Homes and Gardens scoop you up like a bunch it's so good like i can't even i can't even there can't even oh, there goes a the harley <laughs> okay rainbow melts surfing usa mac apple blueberry cobbler and vanilla ice cream i got mostly mac apple 50 percent, and then 25 percent of the blueberry cobbler and vanilla ice cream which is good because i'm not huge into blueberry but it's it melts very well mm, it was very very nice creamy and yeah yum 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 so i bought a purchase de-sash of some wilma's scents and i received white peach spa these little tiny scent shots i think it's just an ounce i think it's an ounce these throw a punch i really like this one white Pe peach spa this was gorgeous i had this going in my 18 watt melter in my bathroom and this is awesome i would highly recommend it if you like peach this is a good peach not a bad peach. We've had this discussion before. Toto Super Tarts described as shaving cream omen, which is ocean apple and vanilla bean noel and fierce. Fierce is not the highlight of this melt. It is definitely the omen and shaving cream. I loved it. I loved it to go to bed with. Like, not that that sounds wrong, but I melted this in my bedroom before bed. It was just relaxing and it was like kind of like sexy, like, I don't know embracing if wax could be embraced it could embrace you weird i know <laughs> what can i say <laughs> all right banana bread from sensationals i kick myself for not getting even more of these i can't find it this is i picked this up it has a full-on spotlight review on my channel i bought this in the fall of 2016 i really love it i can't find it anymore i'm hoping it'll come back for fall i think it was a canadian exclusive i'm sorry don't hate me I didn't know that at the time, and I wish also that I bought way more than I did. <sighs> okay, to my fellow YouTubers who I know, and Sasha, you're one of them, I know, we're all waiting. Brandy, bring back Sheldon. Oh, make this a spot. <laughs> so Sheldon from Super Tarts is described as spearmint and rosemary mint. This was amazing. I bought this in February, when the very first order I ever placed was Super Tarts. This was so good so good for when i had a head cold it was like the only thing i could smell but it's beautiful oh man i really like the spearmint i'm not a spearmint fan but the spearmint with the rosemary mint was awesome so brandy brings sheldon back sheldon deserves to come back plethora like lots and lots and lots all right rose girls chunk wax melt strawberry peppermint coconut ice cream i got this in as part of a decent dash i think or it was a random act of kindness Ugh, can't remember so good for the bed uh rose girls strawberry peppermint coconut ice cream so strawberry peppermint and coconut i got ice cream i think it's just like a vanilla blender it was so good it was so good it was a one singular chunk just the right size to melt in my hot plate my hot plate's really quite big um i already have a playlist uh up on my channel of my melters it's a red wine it's a hot plate so it's quite large in circumference so it went it did really really well okay oh sensationals ginger peach spritz awesome awesome it doesn't have spritz in it at all but i'm going i have one more clam i'm going to add some fizzy pop to it this was amazing it's just it's beautiful ginger done right with a little bit of peach peach is done well uh, can't say much more about it i love it Big Top Lemonade by the, uh, the Bathing Garden. I love Big Top Lemonade. It is so good. It was, to me, um, the, when I went online when she had Shannon's Summer Picks, I think she added this like after it had already been up. <coughs> Pardon me. And she added this to the, to the list of items that you can buy. I love Big Top Lemonade. I have one more. It's back up. It is definitely a pink lemonade into my nose. Because I think she describes it as a pink and like a regular like yellow lemonade and pink lemonade. I got pink lemonade. This is gorgeous. I threw like crazy in my house. I loved it. Okay, scent shot. Oh, 
anything mouse ears. I'm sorry. You could throw mouse ears with poop smell. I'm sure I like it. Oh, it sounds weird, but whew. super tarts. I got the mini, the um, mouse ear sampler. And this is super tarts mini bow, which is mouse ears and strawberry. Holy Moses. Again, it's mouse ears. It smells ears. Does it for me. The strawberry is great. And it just adds a little, little more sweetness as if you couldn't already get enough sweetness with mouse ears. This is amazing. It is strong. It is sweet. Puts in a good mood. Even though technically there's no effervescence in mouse ears, it's it's so bright and, and airy. It feels like an effervescence fizzy pop, even though it's not. Rainbow Melts Wildberry Mousse Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Creamy Wildberry Mousse and Sweet Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Okay, you guys, uh, as a Canadian, I'm not used to hearing about the scoop bread, so I actually Googled it. It is actually a thing. It's like frozen bread... I don't know. It's like this thing that's a sweet treat or something. I've never even heard of it. So I had to Google it. It smells really good though. Like I can smell it from outside. Mm. I love the berries. Like I said, if you guys like bakery, you really got to try um, rose, um, rose. rainbow melts, uh, crystal test bakery, right? And then lastly, yes, lastly, <laughs> I used up all, and this was from a random act of kindness. I had many of these. I gave one to a friend because I figured that they might like it, and they did. Jelly-filled zucchini donuts from Candles from the Keeping Room. This was gorgeous, you guys. This is like, it was like bakery heaven in my house. I don't know how else to describe it. It was amazing. I loved it so much. Um, you guys, that is my favorite. Those are like mostly wax and then a little extra of my favorites for July. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're having an awesome summer. As always, you guys, be safe and have fun.